Wow. Hello, hello, is anybody there? I'm so sorry guys, I have no idea what just happened there. My apologies everybody, I have no idea. Facebook was so surprised by that geo that I just cracked open there and I cracked it open and I looked up and just bam it went away. Uh, welcome back everybody. I am so sorry about that. Yeah, it froze my my app completely crashed So I'm so sorry about that my Facebook app completely Which kaputski on me so my apologies everybody Man I had gotten so far and done so many streams without that happening. It was always a fear. Hello again Yes, everybody. I'm so sorry about that Welcome back to the stream guys Ah uh, what a pain in the butt. The last geode. The last geode. The last one. And it crashes. And of course I gotta go up again because I'm not gonna not show you guys the last geode, so. Oh, what a pain in the butt. And this one cracked really weird. I if you saw my surprise. Yeah, I know, it's such a pain. <clears throat> Um, I'm just trying to decide. I still have this on the chain. I'm going to try and see if I can get this other piece to crack off. And hopefully not ruin it. So, welcome back everybody. So sorry about that pain in the butt disconnect. Welcome back everybody. So sorry about that Facebook Facebook's trying to shut me down. No, I'm just kidding. But last one already cracked a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can't get it to, to crack the rest of the way. Well, that worked. But this is okay though, because this is a really good Really good way to show you guys. So, this one I talked about seeing chambers in. So can anybody, can anybody, what, what does that kind of look like to you? I know it's hard to see. Peggy, welcome back to the stream. So this is another similar shape. So you can see this is where this coil starts and swirls up, right? And then even here you can see too, this is the opening. Swings back around. Lee, welcome back to the show. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Uh, my Facebook, my, my app completely crashed. So that's what this is here. So this is some sort of, you can see too, this is where the bottom rounds out. This is an ammonite, guys. That's the common general term for it. But check this out. So looking at it, <clears throat> we can see... You know, this is the bottom, and this is where it spirals up, right? And this is where it gets big. This is where the, the face opens. Look at how it cracked. You can see that spiral. So you can see, this is what I was talking about with seeing the chambers. And you can see that goes pretty, pretty deep in there. But right there. Pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. So a great little peek in. You can see that was that was the base of it. Obviously, most of it got filled in, but you can still see some of that structure left of what this once was. And not everybody's going to be able to look at one, a geo, and pick it up like this and, and be able to tell what it is. But I've just I've done my research. And I've had some, some insight from some awesome folks. And this one I can definitely tell was. And then cracking it this way. 
I'm kind of glad it cracked this way because it really, that's a perfect, perfect example to show you guys what it was at one point. All right, what do you guys say? Should I do the wrap up or should I just go and grab, not look, dip my hand into the bin and grab a geo to crack open? What do you guys think? Option A, wrap up. Option B, blindly grab a geo to crack. Hi from Wisconsin, Jenny, how you doing? Random, all right, we got one vote. Option B, two votes for option B. For everybody just tuning in, all right, option B. We're at the end of the show, guys, but option A, do the wrap up, show you guys everything. Option B, randomly grab a geode from the bin. All right, it's gonna be option B. So everybody can see. Not looking. Grab. Here we are, guys. Let's crack it and see, and this will be the end of it. More, more. Grab, grab, grab. Yes. All right. This is this is the last one, guys. If I go too crazy and put them all into one show, then I run out of things for other shows. And but we got this one, guys. This will be the last one of the night officially. I always start off and then with more geodes. <laughs> this one was supposed to be 12 and we ended up with 15. But that's okay, who's complaining? I'm not. The guy I pay to come in and clean up, he might complain, but that's me too, so. And I don't get paid. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. All right, guys, here we are. Randomly grabbed geode. Last one of the night. Hopefully, it's something pretty. Ooh. Let us see. Da da. Ooh, we got some nice quartz in here, guys. Really pretty quartz. Just gotta come get them. Sheesh. I'll pay you to fill up some boxes for me. <laughs> All right, some pretty nice quartz in here, guys. Okay. Let me, oh, oh that feels good. It's nice and warm over here now. <clears throat> Let me just arrange these a little bit, guys. Like I said, we did have, unfortunately, the show quite a bit of solid ones, but that's gonna happen. It's not gonna deter me from cracking open geodes and making shows and streaming them because we still talk about some cool things, learn some things. You know what, it's not like we can go out to, you know, our typical places and talk to people like normal. Things aren't normal right now. So I enjoy doing this. Oh, let me turn this a little bit, huh? All right. Wisconsinite. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So I think I'm going to do, <clears throat> that's where you go over there. I think I'm gonna go cut out these lights now so that I can then <clears throat> hit them with the, the UV light. Sorry, I normally don't have those extra little things, but I forgot my tripod in my wife's car again. So, I had to improvise. Well, we're gonna flip around here. 
Turn the light on. Oh, thought we had that one off. And where did the UV light go? Oh, come on. Sorry, guys. I'm going to not make you guys go through all that. Where on earth did my light go? It just disappeared. It was just here. Too many rocks. They're all in the way. Oh. Ah. Aha. Sorry, guys. I found it. Sorry. Technical difficulties. My apologies, guys. But here we are. Got the wrap up. I think that black in there is pyrite related. Fossilized cheese. <laughs> That's got some, uh, yep, chain soil pipe cutter is what I use. Got some gothite in that one there. This one here has got gothite in there. Oh, look at that. You can see those little needles. Pretty, pretty. That's the, uh, the cheeseburger right there. I don't know why the other half of the cheeseburger is all the way over there. Yeah, thank you, Jim. I appreciate that. There you go. That's a nice big calcite, but look at it's over uh, some botryoto there. Calcite over calcedony over quartz. Pretty neat mix. Um, the black light, I'm sorry, actually UV light. Black light, same thing. Um, it's just basically there are different minerals like calcite and like calcedony that will react differently under the UV light. Um, so exposing them to those, those different wavelengths will uh, show some different colors. Look guys, here we have the, uh, <clears throat> this is the ammonite here. I'm just gonna call it ammonite. It may be gastropod, cephalopod, sorry. Come on phone. What a pain in the butt. But it's got some, may, may have some little secondaries in there. We'll check it out. <clears throat> Here's some dirty quartz here. Yeah. It's got to be some UV light, guys. Not just a, not your regular standard uh, black light. That's not going to work. This one here is the one that's got some barite. It's got some gothite there. And some quartz. And then back here, we've got that one with the weird three chamber wands. So yeah, guys, here we are. I'm going to uh, flip this light off and we're gonna hit it with the UV. So here we are, guys, look at this. This one has got some, that's highlight on there. That stuff that's staying. Look at that calcite in the, in the rind. Really pretty orange. This is the ammonite, guys. Look at that it's pretty sweet. I was not expecting it to have some some glow like that, but it does. Also got some calcite going on over here. Look at that. So that yellowish orange, guys, is calcite, and that is also pink calcite in the middle there too. Anything going on up here? Well, that one's got some reaction on the rind. Calcite over here as well. <clears throat> More of that calcite. Yeah, so the uh, the proper light's going to have, yeah, like Jim's saying, they're going to have filters. They'll look at that here, guys. That is highlight. That is water opal.
that it's growing on top of that quartz. Not a lot of people believed me when I said and I found it and I said it was out there, but I tested it and tested it. And um, A lot of the time, those little flecks can be just like dust and debris and stuff like that. Nothing really going on too crazy. A little bit of highlight. This is the three-chamber one, guys. Um, yeah, that one, let me see. I noticed those two. You know what? What in the heck? Hold on. That doesn't... That don't... Can there be... Can there be cyanite in these geodes? Because, like, I've seen it on the floor, but that's not the same... What's this? Hold on. Alright, that's not coming off. That... Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. This is... Let's get it next to it. Because this is crazy. This doesn't make sense to me. Oh, we're discovering things, guys. So these, these are Euprolites, okay? Everybody, everybody knows what Euprolite is. <clears throat> Cyanide bearing sodalite. So, that's what those look like, right? That's that glow. Uh, what? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, guys. Hold on, I have to, because I need to, to make sure. Hold on. Guys, bear with me. This show was about to end, but I think... Uh... What am I looking for? Where's my... <clears throat> just wanna grab my scrub brush here. Because that doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me, guys. It does not. <clears throat> should not, should not be a thing. So, I'm gonna grab my scrub brush here. Okay. So, there we go. That, that's what we're seeing, right? I'm turning the light on, no no tricks, no nothing, okay? It's just a soft wrestle. All right, this is the test, guys. It's still, it's still there. I don't know. I need to get it under water and wash it because I'm not sure. <clears throat> like I said, guys, there are lots of things which can glow. Hold on, I'm gonna get the light back on over here. There's a lot of different things that can glow. There could be dust particles and things like that. There are, there could be creek scum. So I'm going to get that inside. I'm going to scrub it really well. Odds are it might just be something that got deposited on the outside that just looks like that. And I just got a little excited. But I, as soon as, yeah, like <laughs> after, I'm, after I'm done streaming this, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to scrub it. And I will uh, could it have picked up through the river. Yeah, there could, be, there, there could be a couple different things, you know. Like I said, there's definitely some things that can cause different things to happen. If you watched my last stream, my thinking right now is with that, that green deposit that we saw that glowed red, um, <clears throat> I think, personally, I think that's actually algae. I'm not too sure because I know algae needs 
direct sunlight to grow and it was inside of a geode but it was also in a creek so i don't know i'm still looking into that and learning but yeah i don't know that that kind of excited me there um i'm gonna i'm gonna check out what's going on with that but until then guys yeah that was glow in the red i think it's algae like from the creek sorry let me pull my sleeves down Yes, absolutely, guys. I will keep you posted. Keep an eye out. Look for my name. I'm going to end this stream. Go inside. Use the restroom. Wash my hands. Blow my nose because I'm getting a little stuffy. And uh, get those scrubbed and see what in the world is going on because that definitely looked pretty strange to me. But I will check back in with you guys soon. And until then, you guys will see me. Like I said, next week is going to be an earlier show because my daughter Paisley is going to be with me. And I just want to take a chance to say thank you to everybody. This has been such an awesome way to end my year and such a great way to start the year because I get to see what a whole year this kind of stuff is going to do. And I've got my YouTube page coming and I've got some really great, awesome things coming for you guys. And it's just so awesome to have people that enjoy what I enjoy too. So thank you guys all so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Mom. I appreciate it. Um, yes, catch you everybody later. I will let you know it's probably going to be either Monday or Tuesday, um, depending on the weather when we do the show. Because like I said, next show is going to have my daughter doing it with me, so I'll make sure she stays nice and warm. Um, but until then, I will keep you guys posted. Within the next half hour, I will have some sort of confirmation on what is making that geode glow like a Uperlite. But... Thanks, everybody. And I think we hit like 130-something, 139 tonight that I saw on there, which is so awesome, guys. Thank you, everybody who shares it. And, yes, absolutely, Happy New Year to everybody. Screw you, 2020. I am so sick and tired of it. It is giving me some awesome things like my son, but I am just so over it. I'm so done. I'm so ready for 2021, and I really appreciate that, guys. I appreciate Peggy following me on YouTube. I will let you know. My goal is to have that up and ready really soon, but I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to let it take its time and do it the right way. And until then, guys, I will see you guys all next week. I'm so happy that everybody loved the show. I love doing it. I love being there with everybody. Mary, have an awesome night, guys. And again, stay tuned. I'll let you guys know what's going on with this weird Uper geode. We'll find out. Have a good night, guys.